Okay, hello and welcome to the next episode of Advanced Blueprint Tutorials. In this episode we'll be looking at our Sword and Shield uh, example gameplay that we already created and we'll be changing it to use abilities. So uh, let's try it. Let's get our ability. Let's activate ability. And to activate ability we need to make context. Create ability context and to create ability context we need ability component anyway. Um, unless we do it like this but it doesn't really matter it's the same and then owner owner is always self and instigator well oh no not this self the actual self of this actor get a reference to self yeah not self ability but self actor and this will be from class get ability object from class and instigator can be something different so let's make this a macro and call this activate ability or even actually try activate ability and in try activate ability we have this output and this output and we have this input and we have um, instigator input because it can be ch it can be changed uh, depending on the uh, ability so the instigator could be a um, controller it could be a weapon it could be uh, a component it could be something right like, like something else but owner will always be the owner of this um, ability component because this is how i want to trigger all my abilities and i want to push class okay so compile this this is done let's go here so uh, left trigger pressed i want to do a attack and our instigator will be just self there's no reason to do anything else do same and this is block here and we go into blocking and then we play, press left mouse button we'll just stop blocking 